the flavors of wedding cakes have probably been the biggest change in the past five years. Here in New Orleans, it's kind of unique because it is so humid and it is so hot that a lot of fillings that you see in other areas of the country just don't work down here. So it's, it was a challenge for us to be able to offer different types of fillings to give a variety. So it's not just, hey, we've got buttercream, we've got chocolate buttercream, we've got lemon. You know, we, we, start, we, we initially had six fillings. I think now we're up to like 12, that they can, they can get different combinations of fillings. So you know, keep giving them a variety is what they want. So they don't want to sit, they don't want to come in and say, hey, you got to pick out cake number one on page three, and uh, that comes with buttercream filling. They want to say, hey, this is what I want, and can you do it? Starting in the early spring is when our wedding season really kicks off. We'll gradually ramp up to doing about 40 to 50 cakes a weekend, um, and then in, into April and May, we'll probably be doing 50 to 60. And then it kind of dips off in the summer because no one wants to get married when it's 98 degrees outside with 100% humidity. So it, it'll slack up to you know, 30 or 40 weddings. And then when the fall hits, we ramp back up to, to 50 and 60 weddings a weekend. We're constantly keeping track of different wedding magazines, constantly looking at different websites. Um, and the brides, the feedback from the brides, they're bringing in pictures to us. That's how we keep our finger on the pulse of what's happening wedding-wise. And, and groom's cakes, you know, have taken off enormously. It's, it's really a southern thing that I think is spreading across the country. Um, the groom's cake went from a little eight-inch round chocolate cake with chocolate roses on top to three-dimensional college mascots with wearing lab coats and hats. And, you know, if, if, if they can dream it and they can afford it, they buy it.